everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Disha Rustogi, a digital analytics consultant. Today we are going to share with you the most important questions asked in technical interviews for Adobe Target and how you can answer those questions. We will share some useful tips for acing these interviews. So people watch this video as this one will surely help you crack the interview and do like the video. If you are into digital analytics or customer data platform, this channel is for you. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on any great videos. So let's get started. Some of us are working as a target analyst where we are reporting and analyzing the data from experiments, whereas some of us are responsible for configuring target and setting up activities based on these two roles. We are going to discuss the most important questions from an interview perspective. Let's look at the developer based questions. The first one is you should know different types of activities and which is to be used when. For example, manual A by B test, they are suited for lab changes when you involve completely different layouts. So that is when you use manual A by B test. Auto allocate, it's used when you want to reduce the cost and overhead of determining a winning experience. Then you have MVT. You use MVT when the number of experiences exceeds five and they span two or more locations. Okay, so this is how you have to answer this question. The next one is experience validation. How you are going to troubleshoot content delivery, Mbox Trace, Mbox Debug, Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger, Activity QA URLs, right? Then you should know the difference between Mbox Trace versus Mbox Debug. The keyword here is in Mbox Trace, you have before and after snapshot. Then in Activity QA URLs, you should know that you have an option for audience testing. For example, in your activity, you have used a Chrome browser audience, then you can test the audience using QA URLs. The next is form versus VEC. As the name suggests, VEC is a visual editor. It is user friendly, so marketers who are non-technical people can also design experiences. Then there is form, which is a non-visual editor. It is used to create experiences for delivery in emails, voice assistants, and so on. Next, you should know about cookies. Session ID, PC ID, target location hint cookie, okay, which is used in server-side testing, right? Then you should know whether the cookies are first party or third party. Moving on, how to implement target for SPAs, single page application. You should know the implementation steps. You should know trigger view function, its syntax, how it is implemented and so on. Okay. If you have worked on this, you would know the implementation steps. Next is profile scripts. A very important thing to know about profile scripts is they can be used to test mutually exclusive activities. You should know how to debug profile scripts. Response tokens is the answer. You can enable the response token for that profile script and then you can validate in network calls. Okay, so this is how this works. The next is audiences. Audiences, you should know about visitor profiles. What are they? What is the lifetime? What are profile attributes? Profile attributes are parameters specific to the visitor. Then you should know mbox which is passed in directly through page code when creating the mbox and profile which is defined directly with the javascript code snippet now javascript code snippet means profile script right so you should know mbox and profile under profile attributes you should know customer attributes if you have implemented them then there is inbuilt audiences like browser previous page operating system so you should know the different categories and what are the options under them and how you can go ahead and create those target-based audiences. 
Next is A40. Very, very important topic. You should know the steps for provisioning, implementation and validation. When they ask you about the validation, the most important keyword to note here is that the SDID parameter should match in the target and the analytics call. SDID, very, very important to know about. Okay. Next is 80.js, 2x, the benefits over the previous versions. SPA's page performance, caching ability, very important keywords in this answer. Next is Mbox third party ID. It's the membership ID for your company's loyalty program. You should know how the merge profile is maintained for someone before and post logging in. Okay. Next is important 80.js functions. The most important ones are get offer, get offers, apply offer, apply offers, target page params, target page params, all. Apart from the above trigger view function that we discussed, these are the most important ones. Target page params function, you should know the implementation, how to, it's used to pass parameters to the global inbox. Okay. So this is very important keyword here and you should know the, how to implement it. Next are miscellaneous questions. So you can be asked some activity specific questions. So whatever activities you have worked on, they will ask detailed questions around them. So if you have worked on recommendations, they will ask you what is exclusion, what is collection, how to create them and so on. The more activities that you have worked on, those activities you will be grilled on. Basics we have discussed above. Next, AD.js basic understanding questions. Then there is flicker management, collisions, priority. You should know about these topics as well. Okay. Next, we will discuss analyst based questions. Again, you should know the different types of activities and which is to be used when. This is a common question for both developer and analyst. The next is you should understand these metrics lift, statistical power, confidence level, statistical significance. Next, you should know the do's and don'ts for A by B activities. What are the best practices like not changing audience or removing any variations while the experiment is running? You should not stop the test prematurely. You can refer the article 10 common A by B testing pitfalls and how to avoid them in Adobe target documentation. It's a very important article. Next is sample size calculator usage. You can get some short case study based questions for this one. For example, you have been given control variation one, variation two, and you have all the metrics given out like visitors, orders, conversion rate, revenue. And then I say the test is configured to improve the RPV. Now tell me which is the winner based on the data that I've given you. Next, you can be given an example like I set up the test for 21 days. Two weeks have passed. Now tell me why the test duration is still increasing and it will take more time than the initial estimation. Okay. So this is the kind of questions that you can be asked on. Last activity specific reports. So if you have worked on MBT, they can ask you about location contribution report, experience performance report, which is specific to this activity. If you have worked on automated personalization or auto target activities, you can be asked about important attributes report. Okay. Or automated segments report. Okay. Because these two reports are specific to this activity. Now questions in reports can be like, for example, in important attributes report, they can ask you around this particular fact that this report is only available after 15 days of activating your activity, right? So this is a very important fact to know about this activity. Assuming that you have sufficient traffic in your activity. So two pointers, 15 days and traffic, right? So this is all that we had for today. These are the most basic questions about entire Adobe target that you must know. Very important, very popular ones. Nitty gritties of each and every activity and functionality can be also asked based upon your experience and how you have worked, how much depth you have worked, which we are not exploring in this active video.
Now we are going to discuss the useful tips for acing technical interviews. The first one is use keywords as much as possible. For example, if I'm talking about A4T, SDID is an important keyword, right? Next is examples. Now, if I'm asking you the difference between visit and visitor, I would suggest that you explain the difference or the concept with an example rather than a bookish definition. Moving on, practice. If you don't have hands-on experience with the tool, it will be very tough for you to clear your interviews. I'll recommend to also do some practice for functionalities that you're not using in your project. Example, if you do not, uh, if you're just working on A by B activities and you, you do not use any other activities, I would suggest that you practice those activities uh, doing, a, if you have a sandbox, you should go ahead and create those other activities like XT, MVT in the sandbox and try having some hands-on with functionalities that you're not using in the project. The next one is, obviously you have to be very confident more than technical knowledge, your confidence is one key parameter for, you know, to crack that interview. And last but not the least, refer the important topics discussed here to prepare yourself. So this is all for today. Like, share and subscribe. Do let me know in the comment section, how did you find this video? And if you need any help on any topics, I'll create my next videos keeping that in mind. Thank you.